Hey guys, welcome to Tonko Tips. Today uh, we're asking about portfolios. So tips for making a portfolio. One would be to try to keep it concise, keep it short. If you think about your favorite artists, I feel like you don't need to look at a lot of their paintings to realize that you love their work. So I'd say like 18 pages is a good number um, to begin with. Another tip is I would say in picking artwork for your portfolio, I would pick the work that you love most. So sometimes there's an assignment or work you might have done that maybe a lot of people say, wow, we really love this work that you did, but you don't really love it. Maybe it doesn't really represent the work that you want to do. I would say don't put it in your portfolio because the way things usually go is people will like that because for whatever reason, and then they're going to hire you to do that every day. So I would say uh, stick to the stuff that you love. The third tip is if you are using creating a portfolio to apply to, let's say, a big studio, one thing I would suggest that I did when I applied for my first job was to create a sort of portfolio. That was the short one, 18 pages. And a lot of times that was the pieces that I felt best represented the, a finished quality and a presentable view of myself. Usually if that goes well and they call you in for an interview, I also had what I would say was my secondary portfolio, which was a portfolio that contained all of the thinking. So this would have sketches, this would have drawings, this would really help explain my process and thinking because a lot of times I was really hoping to get hired for my ideas, not so much for my technical skill, but actually for my ability to contribute towards stories and thinking and conceptualizing. So actually having this book bringing it out in a portfolio gave us a lot to talk about. So if they had questions about certain pieces, I could flip through all of the process that it, I went through to be able to think through a lot of it. And that book probably close to around 100 pages of drawings and sketches and paintings and studies. So for me, I felt like that worked well because it gave me, you know, my foot got in the door through the entrance portfolio. And then I was really able to facilitate a larger conversation by showing my thinking and my process in this lengthier portfolio. So that's today's Tonko tip. If you have any other questions or comments or things that you'd like to leave us, just leave it in the comments below. Thanks everyone, bye.